Hello and welcome back. In the studio I'm joined by Jarrett Davis, Head of FX at uh, Smile Global Management. Jarrett, welcome to the studio. Thanks for having me. Now, how have the FX markets changed over the years, do you think? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, when I first kind of started learning how to trade, um, the FX market was kind of like a little bit like the Wild West. Um, a lot of companies, a lot of brokers that were kind of more interested in taking people's money, uh, what you'd say unfairly, rather than through you know actual business practices. But I think over the years, definitely to this point, it's kind of got a lot better, a lot more regulated. Um, I, th I definitely think conditions have improved. Um, how do you feel about this ever increasing regulatory requirements? I mean, do you, what, what sort of effect do you think it will have on the on the, uh, the marketplace in the long term? Uh, it's interesting. I mean, you know, the US, for example, has kind of come down quite hard. Um, they don't let their retail traders deal with anyone outside of the US, for instance, in terms of brokerages. I think overall, it's a positive thing, like I said, because you know you need that protection. And I think in the long run, uh, I think it will kind of continue to to aid. Uh, those companies that are trying to offer a, a genuine service and kind of deter those those people that are kind of out to maybe try and you know unfairly pot the trader with his money. So. Mm, mm. And that still exists. Uh, yeah, it definitely still exists, but um, it's getting less. Mm -hmm. Let's say. Thanks to certain websites. Um, okay, so uh, what uh, what makes you different from from other uh, FX traders? I mean, uh, do you offer something special uh, or unique? Are there any projects in development? Um, I think th there's a few things. First of all, um, particularly my own journey. I started off as a retail trader myself, so I understand that process of trying to learn uh, and master the Forex markets. Um, the position I'm in now, obviously I uh, manage client funds. I'm also one of the only um, managed account businesses that, that are regulated in the UK to do that. Uh, there's a lot of people out there doing it, but none of them are regulated. Um, and then. The other thing I'd say is that I'm one of the only regulated fund managers to actually share my strategies and teach my methods to retail traders. Uh, so we've got an education programme as well um, that we share with uh, people who are trying to master Forex as well. And just finally, Jared, do you feel that that sort of um, standard of, of being, of having that sort of registered trademark of being official, if you like, in, in, in the UK, has, does, do you find that actually helps at all? Or? Definitely, because it kind of sets you apart, you know, it gives you a bit of credibility. Um, help that kind of shows people that you can be trusted because uh, to attain that kind of status it's not cheap it's not it's very expensive it's very time consuming so um, this is what I do I trade for a living this is what I do um, and of course for people managing you know who want their money managing clients investors again it's um, credibility and it shows that this is what we do and you know we're serious business great Jack. well I wish you uh, all the best with your fund and your continuous trading thank you that's it for the moment on Dukas Copy TV. Stay with us, we'll have more interviews for you later. But for now, bye-bye.